Nearly a year, pardon me, after a 22-year-old unarmed man was shot and killed by a Vallejo police officer, California's new attorney general says the State Department of Justice will take over the case. As NBC Barry's Jody Hernandez tells us, the family of Sean Monterosa says they're grateful and hopeful that they'll get the justice they've been seeking. Today, I am announcing that the Department of Justice will be taking on uh, the review of the case of the uh, tragic shooting that led to the death of Mr. Sean Monterosa. Promising a thorough and unbiased review, State Attorney General Rob Bonta says it's time for the community and Sean Monterosa's family to get the action they've been demanding. Monterosa died last June when a Vallejo police officer mistook a hammer for a gun and shot through a windshield from the back seat of an unmarked police truck fatally striking the 22-year-old. But the Solano County DA has declined to take on the case. In the interest of safety and justice, I'm here today to announce that I'm recusing myself. DA Krishna Abrams has refused to handle the case, saying an outside review is needed to restore public trust. But Bonta says there's no excuse for her inaction. The Solano County District Attorney has uh, recused herself. Uh, when there was no basis to do so. There was no actual conflict under the law. Sean Monterosa's sisters say they're encouraged the state's top cop is stepping in. Not gonna lie, instantly once we heard him say that, it was like almost a little weight we off our shoulders and we all started crying. They want justice and say police officers need to be held accountable when they cross the line. We really hope that this is the first case in which he does investigate, but that it's not the last in that we really hope that he builds that bridge to support other impacted families. That was Sean's last text message to us just 30 minutes before he was murdered, seeking justice for George Floyd, and now we're seeking justice for our brother. Wherever the facts and the law lead, that's where we'll go. Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.